morning uh, no sorry mo no morning is afternoon or late evening or afternoon late afternoon okay so i'm recording the video early today around 3:35 pm uh, before the even closing because i know now you know where price is going to go and close most likely so uh, it's a 3:36 pm today is a monday november 28th after thanksgiving holiday and so let me walk you through the today's pre market notes uh, today is all about 1122 uh, 2022 you know so 11 november 22nd 2022 unexpected trend day up on that day remember on that day you have to go back to my video and see so either price is going to hold above that day's high which was around 4020 or so you know roughly around that point or go towards the low of that day the low of that day was 3961 you know so either 3961 or 4020 and higher right and if you can look at the today's low it is right at 61 okay so it's a, that's the three line statement right but price did move to one or other side right now we are open for both sides of trading today only for today tomorrow we have to evaluate again and i explain you why today both side and tomorrow we have to evaluate again why right i gave you all the reasons in this court 84 92 56 57 58 4024 these are the levels to watch for and to get one trading opportunity around it you know so this area gave you the opportunity this area also gave you the opportunity you know and price didn't even get to this area so no need to discuss right but in the morning when discord we we did know why 4013 was important right so we discussed that area also in the morning and nq 783 or whatever that level is high right we exactly knew why a selling may come from that area and how far it can go if it is a legit selling right so and there was no hint in the price action right there was no hint anywhere else you know because NQ was so strong to the upside right but we already knew that if someone has to sell it right that could be the location but then they have to take price below certain levels in order to prove it right so so those that kind of insight order flow or you know indicators or nothing else will give you you know no one else can show you that kind of insight so it's all about some clues that you or some 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 dots that you have to connect you know based on some past event and then i think you may have a clue you know or something you can uh, get an answer to the puzzle basically you know so and then order flow and other tools will help you later on solidifying that idea if you are using it you know but at the first time they won't give you any insight it will be always after the fact not before the fact you know but you know if you know how to understand the past event and get some thought process around it you can get before the fact event and then you can act on it you know but anyway uh, today there is no detection hint that I can give you because of holiday price action before that you know so we have to wait for today's end of day to get some clue overall above 3920 some short term buyers are there below 4120 mid term sellers are there blah 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 you know all this thing is written here right 714 683 are dream numbers they are powerful as usual and you can see always you know have them playing out nicely right you just need to you know prepare a process around trading dream numbers you know so 714 that was the dream number 683 that was the dream number right you can see it uh, right here you know so this dream number acted basically slice through this right so we in the pre-market we discuss right that opening area it could be about this could be buyers below this could be lower right price slice through it and q was strong anyway we discussed that right most likely scenario would be this or this correct that's our aggressive sellers area and then when price was going higher es was started chopping around 13 remember so we discussed that hey if it goes above 02 05 right 
then most likely it will go to 13 or 20. So someone wants to go aggressive long, we discuss that scenario also, 4005 long, 4013, 12 exit and then wait. NQ, you cannot go long with the flow because NQ can bail out on you at any point, you know. So NQ, we have to wait. When it went above this area, I said it needs to hold above 766. And then, you know, while I, uh, while I said that, I was, I immediately saw something, right? And then I discussed that what, what I see. And that's why we knew that why ES is holding around 13, you know, what could be the possible reason. And based on that fact, I took a shot here, right? But I bailed out very early, 750 was my target, you know, I bailed out early because that was just a test to see whether, hey, sellers response it there. Then price went down and then we know, right? And then price slowly went down, went down, went down like this, right? There was also a scenario we discussed that, hey, if it goes below 740, it may give you a failed breakdown at that point, you know, if ES is not below 4002. And then you can see it here, there was a fail, fail breakdown here, somebody, you know, whoever day traders, you know, they took a breakdown like here, below 741, they got trapped immediately, price bounced 20, 30 point, you know. So that mini long, I also took it, but overall, I know that sellers are in control from here. We also discussed this scenario also, that's 766 here, somebody can short it also, right, which they did. So that was all follow through reading, there was no real trade here, you know, except scalping. When price broke out below 730, you know, that's where, you know, even before at that, I said if it breaks below 730, ES goes below 02, that's where the real selling comes and these sellers are confirming their intention to take the price to Globex low or even 595. That's where the real trading starts, right? So you can take a short here below 730 with the flow or ideally I prefer that you wait till price to pull back which is this see after when it went through all this thing here and it bounced from the dream number right you can take a long here uh, 1026 so you can see it it was right around two, 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 here ES was at 97 right so ES was at random level right so that's why I say you can take a long here but ES was not in the support so it's like a gray area long here, right? So you can do from here to here, you can play that long, you know, scalping. But the ideal idea would be the short. So when it bounced here, here I said, you know, seven, uh, this short makes sense, you know, and with what stops, you have to put it between seven, above 730 to 740 area because it can bounce up to that point. But that is the short because at this point, sellers were confirming the idea. So we started watching sellers from here, then here, then they confirmed it here, then they slice through 730. See, these are all the tails, you know, that sellers were, or hint sellers were giving us. So now it's a time to act right here, you know. So ES was at the time around, I think, right here, you know. It was retesting the 4002.05 area. Remember I said 05 is the area, correct? So here 05 short, here 715 short or dream number short, you know, this 714 stops above 740 and then you can ride all the way up to Globex low or 595 if you have a patience. Otherwise, you know, if you see price chopping around, bail out, you know, because we don't look for moon every day or earth, right? We look for a few points every day. Consistency matters, not number of points, you know. You can have like two points a day. 5 points a day, you know, in ES or NQ, 10 points, 20 points, and you are done, you know. So, and if you maintain that consistency, yeah, you are better than, you know, getting this entire trend in one day, you know. But anyway, so here you can take exits, right, and then, you know, I stopped trading because this one was, I did on auto short, this one, right, and then, you know, I bailed out right here when I came for a lunch because I usually don't trade after 10.30, right. So this was auto trade. So, you know, I just, you know, bailed out here when I took a uh, lunch time when I came, I saw this Fed speaker talking and price going back and forth, right? So I took a profit here, right? But my original target was this, you know? Uh, and then, you know, I, then I went outside as usual for my yard work, right? So I did not bother to see this price action until when it reached here, you know, around this time, two o'clock to 30. So now these are the trades that I was not here, right? But if I was here, once this news driven spikes down happen, then there was another spike up, right? There was a third spike down, correct? 
so up down sorry down up and down see at this point you know price is telling you if it goes below this low it wants to go for the lower you know, at least back to this area or maybe this area you know so you have to look for signs right so then it did not go down correct so here also you know it's like a fail breakdown you know five minute close did not even close below correct so here it bounced and where did it go 92 area see these are the lines i gave you earlier in the discord right and you can see all these lines playing out here one by one right all the way down here this yellow line this white line this white line right again this white line and you see a pullback here correct but then you can notice here the price balanced it here right where did it balance right here broker prefer buyers area turn into sellers area right see here it already responded then again slice through down this buyers are not strong that means this area can act as a selling area so here that was the first shot right but you know what it's a news driven still you know in 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 fact right so it is still in effect that fair speaker was still talking so it can also do ping pong here again go higher you know so that's why it's a different arrow short here same thing in nq dream number you know it may slice through here so that's why it's a different arrow you know if someone wants to take a risk otherwise i would wait for a confirmation so if this area acts and price try to go down that's where you short so light here you know so again it, it acted here again it went down right then slight pullback you short here also same thing right that's a short you can target at least this or this up to you you know however you want to do it by the time moment pump was already in the liquidation territory see so that's additional plus here so you can hold on to your trade if you want to you know and throughout the in the morning also you know we waited 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 right because in moment tick was was not able to make it above zero line you know all the way up to this 10 30 you know so buyers sellers were strong in the morning you know uh, despite this up move right so when we are looking at this we were not talking about sellers even though but we were noticing internals are not in support but when this thing started coming down right and then internals still stayed below that's where we know now sellers are in control that's why you see this short coming from that 4013 see so uh, and these are all the shorts basically you know and these are few trades to the long side also scalping right but that's how the day ended up today you know so now we knew also the target for this sellers is either this or this right so they achieved it here right so after that there is no point trading it later in the day you know and if you got the few points in the morning no need to bother to trade these things you know right so, and then now for tomorrow right so tomorrow it's a fun time you know so tomorrow you know watch this 595 it's very important you know this area you know it's very important 618 to you know 595 and yes this 77 you know or this area itself is very important you know so watch that in the overnight and see what happens there you know? and then we can have some clue in the morning you know? that be all for today